Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got Slim Cat for Galaxy S3. Now this is the built 3 which is considered as a stable version for Galaxy S3. So we finally have a really stable uh, KitKat ROM for Galaxy S3. So that is awesome news. So let's get into the ROM now. First of all what you would see here is the stock lock screen which is well it's a kitkat rock screen so nothing special you do have dash clock here so it's customizable so that's pretty cool let's unlock the phone uh, you can change the lock handle from the security settings so that's some a feature there now the first thing you will notice is that it is a nova launcher so it is the basic launcher which comes with the rom now again the dpi setting in the slim cat roms is 240 dpi which is not the normal dpi for the s3 the normal dpi is 320 dpi which you can change using an app or the build out prop tweaks. You can just go get dirty with that. So that's pretty cool. Now let's get into the uh, settings menu. First of all, what you would see here is the um, options, which is fairly similar to what we have been seeing in the slim ROMs. In the about phone setting, you can see it is KitKat, it is um, all of these. You can see it is built 3.0. Yeah, it's built 3.0 official. So that's pretty neat. Now, Something about the uh, Slim Bean ROMs, it's one of the best AOSP ROMs you can go for for the S3. It has ton of battery life, it has a ton of performance, it does have some features and it really works out pretty awesome. So uh, let's get into the extra settings now. First of all, in the interface settings, these are where the extra settings are, the most of them. Uh, first of all, you have the battery icon setting. Right now it's using the portrait icon button, you can change it to uh, percentage, uh, icon with percentage, circle, circle with percentage, dot a circle, dot a circle with percentage, whatever you need, so that is pretty neat. So you have that feature. Now notification and QR setting, it's an iconic slim ROM notification feature. So you do have tiles and layout which are special, um, which no other ROM uh, apart from those which are derived from the slim ROMs uh, are going to give you so you have a lot of extra settings like all of these I guess you can see that uh, contact custom expanded the DPI setting does make it a little hard for you guys to see it but uh, I just wanted to have a honest experience for you guys so yeah that's there now it does have styles which is one of the best features of this uh, style this type of notification and quick setting it, it you can change the background color of the tiles uh, pressed background color you can even change the tiles per row which is one of my favorite feature i normally keep it at four which is great so you have a lot of options there quick pull down sma uh, smart pull down or um, generic features which are available in a lot of rounds but this is the one which which uh, brought it to the table so that's pretty neat now in the status bar settings you only have the clock and date setting you can as you can see I have enabled the center clock with small am and with small um, date indicator so you can change a lot of them you can change the date format you can change a lot of options from here so you can see I've changed it to month day and uh, the year no the day the day date and year so that is cool you have a lot of options there so that's really neat now uh the real the real dark slim it's something which the uh, slim roms are really famous for you get the dark inverted style play um g apps uh, just with the push of this button you can turn it on it is the 3.0 version so you does have a uh, manual and auto switching modes which you can have which you can um configure according to what you want so that is really cool now in the slim center you it's a OTA updater slash uh, slim sizer and a information app with, where you can get the slim uh, website shortcut you can just click it to go to the slim website bug report you can submit bug reports you can donate to the people who are involved in this so that's pretty cool this is a slim OTA function where which I guess it downloads the full, ap full zip file and flashes it flashes it over the uh, right uh, the one which is right now so it's not the delta style updates but still that's relevant that's really cool the slim sizer is a really cool feature which uh, you can uh, remove any app which um, you don't need from the system directory rather than going through a file manager to get them so that is really cool we, I, I normally use this because I use the G apps with Google experience launcher so I don't normally need the um, Nova launcher so I just delete Nova launcher when uh, I'm done with it so you can do that so that's pretty cool 
Now, the rest of the settings are similar to what you can expect from the uh, KitKat ROM. You can have uh, the CTR animation, CRT animation. You can have Don't Show, which is my favorite, which is which um, which equates to Fade animation. You do have List View animation, which is pretty cool. You can have whatever List View animation which you want. So that is really neat. Um, quick um, notification now: the uh, the latest uh, version of KitKats from uh, Slim and others does have a notification fix so I'm not sure how that works yet I'm still using this so that's there so just wanted you guys to know about it uh, what else does this have now in the security setting there is a theme style where you can change the drag handle which is a slim icon or you can have a custom icon so that's really neat you have a lot of options there now for the four-way reboot the three-way reboot you need to go to the security and advanced reboot rather than to the developer settings so that's a something which I want you guys to know about it does have advanced options which gives you op options here which includes super user which um, well the super user which comes with the ROM is not the best I've ever used so I don't have any comments on that you can uh, change the options here too you do have device settings which where you can change the vibration strength the notification fading etc etc you have a lot of options there so that's really neat now these are the apps with which it comes I have installed Antutu to benchmark as obviously I'm not going to show you guys the scores it's similar to whatever ROM you're running it's between 18,000 to 19,000 but I can uh, tell you guys that it's much more stable than any of the other KitKat ROMs which I've tried and one more thing I'll sh like to show you guys the camera app you see the camera app um, the previous camera apps did have a lag issue that's a slim center don't worry about it uh, it did have the lag issue but not this one this doesn't have that much of a lag issue it still does have a uh, lag issue when you're recording but that's really a step in the right direction so that is really cool and I'm hoping that this will be fixed soon enough so that we all can enjoy a really good camera experience right now the only thing which is holding me back from using a, a USB based ROM is the camera the battery is really improved now slim ROM is one of the best battery friendly ROMs you can go for so it's really great you do have true view option which is really cool you can have that uh, focus mode continuous face detection etc face detection never works for me so I'm not sure if it works for you or not so so I guess that much is it I'll show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool so here is the boot animation which is slim cat and it blinks for a file it fades so that's really great now something which I forgot to mention is that in the settings there is a navigation option which I didn't really get into. In the navigation option you can see there are a lot of options. First of all global menu. That's this menu where you can change whatever appears here. You can add uh, custom apps. You can add all of these um, controls etc. Pi controls you can have a lot of options. It does feature slim pie which is a trademark of uh, slim ROMs. It's a really great feature. Uh, I've actually enabled it. Here is the slim pie, which is awesome. It's it's really useful, and um, you can use this in any way possible. So that's really great. You can change the buttons and uh, style dimension, etc., etc. You can remove all of these and just have uh, whatever apps you use. Really great. You can have a lot of options from that. So. Um, it does have navigation bar also so you can use that it it is similar to what I just showed you about the slim pie so you can remove all of them and have uh, your own custom apps so that's really great so I guess that much is it about the ROM there's nothing special but this is uh, hands down one of the most stable and kind of fast uh, KitKat ROM for Galaxy S3 and uh, with the recent news about the S3 not going to receive the 4.4 update uh, I really don't mind not going with TouchWiz with 4.4 because you have a really great ROM, uh, really great ROM here for S3 which is a slim cat so yeah I guess that much is it about the whole uh, see you guys next time bye